Continue on. What's the plan, Joker? What's up, YouTube? It's your Lord and Savior, King D353, of an episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we went through some of Maruki's castle. In this episode, we keep going through Maruki's castle. <laughs> I did some Persona fun earlier, and I finally reached the point where I can't just keep paying for bullshit Personas. So, I obtained Al Aliat here. I could have obtained Lucifer, but sadly, I don't have the money to keep making things above my pay grade, so now we have to use regular personas. Terrifying, I know. Mm. A warehouse, eh? I bet there are plenty of... Well, that doesn't matter in the least right now. Joker. Are there more shadows here now? Be sure to proceed with caution, Joker. Why do I think Anna was one of the people I could talk to? Aww. That warehouse is so full of boxes. Kind of like how my room was. <laughs> With Oracle Senpai around, progressing through the palace is almost like a breeze. Okay. We came from down there, so we're going up here. Hey. Hold on, look over there. Security is even tighter here, apparently. They appear quite formidable. That means this place is important. Let's take them out whenever we're ready. Focus. I'm ready now, let's go. We will surely be walking into a fight. Have you finished your preparations? Indeed. Very well, let's go. So, you dare to defy his excellency? Let us pass. You shall not interfere with our master's work. Come. Go down. Oh, wait, what? We already have her info? Oh, why did I think why did I think Riot Gun gave high crit chance? Mm, screw it, it's Riot Gun anyway. Ah, you have a crit you have a reflect chance. Psychic and fire can hit everything.
time for thanks. Prepare yourself! Yeah, you're the one that can take physical hits. Oh no, we don't resist ice anymore. Hmm, who do I wanna... Let's confuse you, because your critical can be an issue. Thanks for the money, I actually do need that. Alright, get some good damage off on them, finally. Still got plenty on them, though. Alright, Cat needs to heal. I don't think he can one-shot us. Okay, what do I want to... Okay, let's pop blow you. Never mind. Try to pop one again. Damn it, I keep missing.
You're not confused anymore, are you? You so long the trigger vat. I believe that takes care of that. So, where are we now? This room seems very different to the rest of the palace. It was heavily guarded as well. Well? Could this be some sort of surveillance room? The monitors are displaying various rooms within the palace. Huh? Wait, we were being watched the whole time? I don't know about that. Yep, I knew it. This room's more of a mainframe than a monitoring system. All sorts of information's being collected here from across the palace and getting converted into raw data. Oh? Data collection? But what for? Wait. You know, this room ain't got any sort of way forward. Think we gotta find another path somewhere else? Actually, it looks like there's a path beyond those cables. We're just not using it as is, though. Um, is my controller dying? Hmm. Oh? Oh? What's it now? Is that... Mementos? Yep, yep. I've tracked the location of all data... of all the data set being sent to. Looks like it's going, it's going into Mementos. We might be able to make some headway if we investigate this location. That reminds me, Lavenza did tell us. Dr. Maruki's utilizing mementos to distort all of reality. Even still, are those really data cables? That's... How the fuck? I thought mementos was gone! I think we're done. Let's go check mementos. Agreed. Sticking around here isn't going to help us any. Alright, let's head out of here for now. Let's see if mementos trip does any good. This does mean I can stock up on more money so that I can buy po more powerful personas. We got some exploration done, but I don't think we're really a tr at a turning point yet. There's no point in straining ourselves. We should view any progress as a win, no matter how little. Assuming that we'll be exploring again soon, I'll be sure to stay sh in shape until then. I knew I made the right choice of Sumi Ray. I've got an eye for talents. Yep. Wasn't I the one that recruited her? Good work today, but you got school tomorrow. Don't stay up too late and end up dozing off. Whatever, cat. Hey. Okay, we're really we're really doing this shit again. We're really doing the Morgana won't let me fucking do anything shit again. Hey. Oh my fucking I hate you, cat. Peep, 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 peep. I'd just like to thank everyone for letting me join the team. I'm glad to be here. I'll do my best to pull my weight. We're happy to have you. Yeah, welcome. But you can loosen up a little, okay? Don't worry about being so formal. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to address that in the future. Still sounds pretty st stiff to me. Oh, I thought I did have frozen again. A, p a thousand pardons! 
And now she sounds like some kind of samurai. Hey, either way, we got ourselves another teammate now. And that's awesome! Indeed. We, we're glad to have you as well, Yoshizawa-san. Well, as long as we're dropping formalities. You don't have to bother with the honorific if it's okay. I'd like everyone to just call me Sumire. If you're sure, in that case, once again, welcome to the team, Sumire. Thank you! Oh, about tomorrow. Are we all going to that Memento's place? I think this was... I think that was the name? That's an option. But we still have plenty of time. We don't need to attempt an infiltration if we're not wholly prepared. Yeah, that's our leader's call. We're counting on you more than ever, Dwayne. Got your backs. I'm ready any time. We've got more firepower now, but our target this time is so much more powerful than any we've faced so far. We should probably get ourselves as ready as possible, like Yusuke said. Morning. Oh, good morning, King. About the fan site request. If I find any this year, I'll be sure to pass the info on to you. Sounds good. <laughs> there aren't as many posts now, but it looks like there are still plenty of people in trouble. We're all counting on you, on you Phantom Thieves. Dispense justice. There are still people in trouble out there, huh? That could mean there are still some targets left in Mementos. Whether there are or not, we better be prepared for anything. Who knows what might happen? Morning, Dwayne, Mishima-kun. Hey. If it's okay with you, then... Can I see you after school? I'll be in the usual spot. Alright, thanks. Uh, I can go on ahead. Oh, sorry, we're all good I'm now. You, then. I'm gonna get going. See you later. I guess that means I'm getting On's Awakening. I was gonna question if I get the Awakenings in the in recruitment order, but that makes no sense, because Ryuji was the first Phantom Thief member. Does the school's atmosphere seem different to anyone else? Atmosphere being? The general mood, I suppose. Everyone seems so happy. Some of them seem like entirely new people, even. I've been seeing it too. You think this is Dr. Maruki's influence? If their stories and circumstances seem radically different from before, it's a safe bet. Shit, this is all so crazy. Dwayne, let us know if you want to go to Mementos. I can be at the hideout anytime. Hideout? What's up? Where are you all gathering? At Leblon. Is that the best? It's a public cafe! It's cool, no customers around anyway. We're all- we're always there anyways. Then it's settled. We'll all meet up at LeBlanc. Okay, I'll see you all there. Hey. Maybe you sh Make sure we're all stocked up on important supplies. We don't want to run out of something when we need it most. I feel like the game just tutorialed at me. Now then. We have until f February 3rd. Let's stay focused here. Oh, that's right. Didn't it seem like Lady Anna had something she wanted to say? I think she's at the underground mall right now. Why don't you go check up on her? So did I imagine things, or did something appear on the chalkboard and go away? Oh. You want to try drawing the Phantom Thieves logo? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, they got really popular for a while. Man, this artist really likes the thieves, huh? That drawing's way too big. Oh, I remember this logo. The Bandits, right? Wait, what was that? Was that even her name? I wonder what they're doing now. Anyway, so yesterday. <sighs> they don't seem too interested. Because that's to be expected of things the way as they are now. Okay, make sure it's totally erased. Why? Do I have to talk to On today? Or can I talk to her at a later date? 
Because I do need to up my Bond of Sumire. I think I'm going to prioritize, prioritize Sumire. And if it turns out I had to talk to On today specifically, I'll just restart and talk to On today. Yes, I know that's cheating, but wait. No, she's definitely there, right? It's a, it's a clean sky day. Yeah, she has to be there. king -san, things have been so strange recently. No matter whose fortune I'm reading, there's nothing but joy and good times ahead. It's almost uncanny. It's nice that everyone's happy, but why does it make me feel so anxious? Well then, shall I read your fortune in detail? Okay, let's take a seat. What shall we do? Special bond. Yeesh, how expensive was that persona that cost me over three hundred dollars? Three hundred thousand dollars. What do you think? Do I have a faith persona on me? I don't. I need to go buy a faith persona before I go talk to Sumire. Alright, I could read her phone message to the teleport door. Hello, Senpai. Are you free today? If you don't already have plans, can we maybe meet up? Yes. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting at Kichijoji. Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Um, should we go to the palace today? We just stopped Dr. Maruki. Let's hang out instead. Hang out? But we have to do something before it's too late. Don't overthink it. I see. You're right. Maybe I'm getting a little too overwhelmed. And I can't really do my best if I'm too stuck in my own head. Thank you for your concern, Senpai. Let's 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 use this day to relax. Senpai, um I I wanna talk to you about something. Do you have time? Thank you. Can talk to you. Um, can we go elsewhere? It's a bit difficult to talk about it here. Um. Dwayne Senpai? I'm so, so sorry. Seeing me trying to act like Kasumi must have been really painful and awkward for everyone. Everyone must have noticed that I was acting strangely. They were probably being nice to me, knowing that I'd just lost my sister. But even then, I had no idea I was even supposed to be sad. I didn't remember that my sister was gone. When my coach told me to think about who I really am, I thought it was just figurative, something about my slump. I was just living my life like I didn't even care that she was gone. Can't take this shame. At least you realize it now. I'm sorry. Yes. I have to reflect on everything I've done wrong. Ever since we were kids, Kasumi was always the one who decided what I did, what I chose, where I went. I couldn't do anything without her. I suppose it's clear where my grades weren't going up much. I was never on Kasumi's level to begin with. I was so pretentious, so wrapped up in my own stupid little problems. I was too self-absorbed to do anything. Don't beat yourself up. I'm sorry. I lost my composure. Can Why was you? nothing giving me boost there? I'm starting to remember things from our past now. It's hard, but I'm trying. There's a lot of covers. There's, there's a lot. 
covers everything, starting from when Kasumi and I first got into gymnastics up until just recently. I want to talk about how it used to be for Kasumi and me. Would you listen? What kind of question is that? Of course I would. Kasumi started gymnastics really early, and I was even younger, so I copied her in almost everything. I went to the class, too. I was too little to really understand the sport or the rules. But everyone praised me- Wait, you were twins. You- Your age was the same. What are you on about? But everyone praised me when I did well. The coach would get me a little re little rewards, like ice cream cones. We did our best trying to learn the moves and routines since it kept us kept us getting ice cream. Those must be some good memories. Yes. <laughs> I suppose you're right. We ate ice cream together. We talked. We laughed. Those days were so fun. And one day, along when we started going to junior meets, Kasumi asked me if we could be number one in the world. Does that mean we'd get all the ice cream we could eat? All with a straight face, of course. She could she could be really funny sometimes. <laughs> so obviously I told her, Kasumi, you're a super genius. That is genius. She really was a genius, though. Everything came so easily to her, and every day she only got better. You remember what my coach said, senpai? That my... Well, that Kasumi's greatest weapon was her boldness? Kasumi was always so bold, she was like a beacon of confidence. So... And one day I realized I'd never catch up. Catch up. It didn't matter how hard I tried. I'd have, cons I'd have consolation prizes for the rest of my life. Kasumi was always the one up on the podium. But even when she won her ice cream, she never ate it without me. I always told her not to worry about me, but she still said she'd wait until we could enjoy it together. She really believed in me. She said we'd be the best in the world someday. She had her own practices to do, but she was always so busy helping me. She spent hours trying to help me. She cared about you. <laughs> For the ice cream, right? No, she cared about you. She was so kind and strong. She was the perfect older sister. I... Kasumi's kindness was so... So... Infuriating. Why? She was always the one on the podium, surrounded by flashing cameras. But all I could do was watch from the so shadows. I'm not Kasumi, and no matter what I do, I'll never be like her. If she just give, if she had just given up on me, it wouldn't have hurt so much. At least then people would stop trying to compare us. It must have been hard. Yes. That's one way to put it. The thought kept coming back every day in my mind, went back to it. Everyone would be better off if I didn't exist. Either that, or I should, or I should just be Kasumi. She's the one people really want. Sumi is the one who's useless. Pointless. Who'd care if she died? But my sister died instead. Why did she have to protect an idiot like me? I... I watched her. So what happens now? Senpai. Doing senpai. I can't stop here. Now I want to keep doing gymnastics as Sumire. I want to hit those heights Kasumi was aiming for. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face her. Please, listen to me. Will you keep going out with me now that I'm Sumire? I want you to hold me to this. To make sure I don't run away from who I am again. If that's part of the deal. <laughs> thank you very much. Th thank you. I'll try to make sure it's worth your time. Uh, you must think I'm pretty lame. But I guess that's Sumire. That's who I am. I have to be stronger, both in my heart and with my gymnastic skills. Maybe some other time. But for now, I'm Sumire Yoshizawa, and it's nice to meet you again. 
I wasted my money reading her mind. All right. Fitness talk. Phew, I feel so much better to follow that off my chest, senpai. I could take more off your chest if you want. I think this really helped me. Now I can focus on training over a new leaf and... <laughs> training over a new leaf? <laughs> Come on, leaf! Work the maps! <laughs> I can focus on turning over a new leaf and do my best. Shall we go? Let's get some practice in until I have to go to club. We'll be training even harder than before, senpai. I'll be extra strict from now on. I forgot she ups my stats. Alright, so Marie gives me physical stats, Maruki gives me mental. Um, hello? I'd like to thank you for what happened earlier today. And I'm so sorry you had to see such a pathetic side of me. As soon as I acknowledged myself as Simurai, my gymnastics training started to fall apart too. But this is the real me, I guess. So what if it is? Huh? I... Well... <laughs> you know you're right. So what if this is who I am? I made up my mind to keep moving forward, even without Kasumi. I can't just run and hide now. I'll think about where Kasumi got her strength from and what I can do to Asumori. I'll calm down and think all this through. Thank you for listening to all that. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Yeah. Oh, you're home. Why is it getting colder? Make sure to keep warm when you sleep. Or is that their way of saying that I have to do the heater? There's been this streak of weird post on the fan site. My mom's acting weird. I'm so alone and hungry. Can she not see me? She doesn't answer me. The house is so cluttered. Such a mess now. Worth looking into. I thought you'd say that, so I grabbed some extra info in advance. It says the smartphone's registered owner is Kuniko Kagemi. The kid's gotta be making the post using his mom's her mom's phone. I already checked the name of the meta nav, and there's a hit. I think it's safe to assume this mom is neglecting her kid. Good work. He, <laughs> nah, I didn't do much, except for you know everything. I just think a kid should never have to feel like she doesn't matter to her mom. I want to bring her back to her senses. Let's discuss this more at the hideout, okay? Well, if we already got a hit in the mentos, we can't just ignore it. And from the sound of the post, the victim's just a little girl. There are still lots of people out there who need our help. Let's see what we can do for them. Hey, hey. I'm pretty sure none of that city armor is worth doing. I think I'm going to start spending my nights working. And I believe my night job is with in the at the crossroads, yeah. My night job's in the crossroads. Oh, honey. You sure come here a lot. I don't really mind it, but keep yourself in check, okay? I haven't been here in months. What are you on about, uh, Lala? I don't know why I called you Oya. Oh yeah, you take not mind of that. Oh, are you here for the job? I don't actually care about the kindness. I just want the money. Thank you. And I'm it's only showing this off because you guys have never seen this job before. At least I don't recall doing this job for you guys before. It's almost time for the customers to arrive. So good luck. Whoa. The customers seem to be enjoying themselves. Make sure you learn well from Lala's hospitality. Oh, so we didn't get the game today. Evening. Good evening, I'm here. Ah, uh, you're in a good mood today. Well, have a cease. Oh, honey. 
Oh, so Shinsuke Kishi is the boss you've been having problems with, right? Actually. Not anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's like he's a changed man. He suddenly said, I'm sorry for everything. I'm gonna apologize in tears to each- <laughs> Oh, this is from the uh, commission I did a long ass time ago. He went from being the man his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect ideal boss. Hey Lala, you don't suppose... You think the Phantom Thieves did something to help me? I mean... Who knows? They did help you, though. You have a lot to be grateful to them about. Hey, hey. Hey, did you hear? He's grateful to us. <laughs> Please, you're starting to make me feel bashful. So, we're gonna drink today? I'll order a bunch of food, too. <laughs> you silly man. Alright, Van, we have a bunch of customers' cu orders coming up. Nice work. Thanks for your help. A minor like you should probably be getting home around now. Only 7,000. I, I remember now why I don't work. These jobs are so shit. I forgot how absolutely crap the money yield is. Proud as always. Now for today's trade news. Today's headlines are... Japan first on list of prosperous countries. Others are praising it as the perfect model of a developed country. The first economic boom of the 21st century. Several businesses are reporting massive increases in earnings. The new cabinet shows strong approval ratings. Has our antiquated political system been changed for the better? Everyone's faces look so calm for some reason. But this happiness can't... What's up? Yo! Waiting to ambush me? Don't say it like that, man. So, Dwayne, you got time later? There's something I wanted to talk to you about, if you're free, I mean. Sweet, thanks. It's definitely worth waiting around. Crap, is everyone else already at school? We gotta book it, Dwayne! I was cleaning my room the other day, and I found a collection of stories that I bought when I was a student. You've all heard of the Restaurant of Many Orders by Kenji Miz Miyazawa, right? It was aimed at children, but even when you read it now, it really pulls you in. Speaking of, one of Kenji Miyazawa's strengths is the sense of naming fictional lands to his stories. Ihatov is the most famous among them. The place is loosely named after the author's hometown. Okay, now, King Kong. Answer this question. Where do you think the fictional land of Iatov is not modeled after? Iwate? This is it. Way to go. Yep, that's correct. Iha Ihatov is Kenji Maezawa's fantasy world, his utopia. Utopia is the ideal world, separate from our own world. Nice going. <sighs> I remember I watched a- not a comic, I saw a thread on Twitter about people making fun of this entire scenario and I loved it. Your own little paradise, huh? Oh, amazing that actually existed. All the booze and meat you want. Oh, but then I'd be fat. And perpetually hungover. You know what? Maybe things aren't so bad as they are. You all should admit that for your class, just saying. Kawakami is pretty realistic. About deactualization. Did something happen? One of my fellow artists no longer works in the medium. You mean they gave up painting? To be precise, their entire history and existence as a painter are no more. For real? Actualization sure is some spooky stuff. But doesn't that mean Maruki just killed their dream? No. 
In this reality, they have already... They have apparently always been in archery. They're quite skilled as well, from what I've gathered. Seriously? But... Why archery? I don't know the exact reasoning, but it's most likely Maruki's judgment call. He pried into your associate's cognition, and concluded archery was the best fit for them. So that's what Dr. Marushi considers salvation. He probably concluded the arch were just generating suffering for them. I suppose he thought in this world, this world would be a, a superior path? Now that you mention it, they did say before they were stuck in a terrible slump. But doesn't that mean all the effort up until now is just wasted? Protecting people from their pain must matter more than their lost efforts. From his point of view, of course. A real utopia. It may be to them, but not to me. I could never live with myself like that. <sighs> Throwing away your past to live in a blissful ignorance. Yeah, I could never live like that either. <sighs> Would you join the Phantom Thieves? 12.9%. I wonder what Ryuji wanted to talk about this morning. <sighs> Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Um, should we go to the palace today? No. What? I see. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm trying to do everything I can right now. I'm thinking of taking a special lesson from Crouch at my club. It's a special program that centers around boxer sizing. It relieves stress and it's open to the public. I was thinking you could come along if you wanted. Really? Thank you so much. I want to just see the coach, Hiraguchi-san, once my lesson ends. She's an amazing person. She's been guiding Kasumi and me since we were little. Now, let's head over. You know. Kasumi helped me through this special regimen several times. It gets tough after a while. Your limbs start feeling heavier the longer you keep them up. Whenever we did this before, all I could focus on was how well Kasumi was doing, and how much I wanted to stop. Kasumi was probably so disappointed in me. I got tired out real quick. Were you frustrated? Okay, I need, I'm gonna stop spending money on these, because clearly it doesn't matter if I know how to answer or not. It's not that I was frustrated, I just felt so miserable that I couldn't match up to Kasumi. She never doubted herself for a second, and then there's me. Oh, I think it's almost time for my coach to show up. I'm kind of nervous. Is she strict? Yes. You could say that. She's tough on us, but she has a great she's a great mentor. She's been helping Kasumi and me for a long time. Even through all of my stupid delusions as Kasumi, she never stopped helping me. I don't know what I'd do without her. How are you? <sighs> Hello, Coach Hiraguchi. You look like Marin. Or... Shamir. You look like Baron and Shamir, but more Asian. Sumire? Maybe it's just my imagination, but you seem like your old self again. Y yes I'm sorry I worried you. Um, I've... I've been running away from what happened to my sister. So you've realized. Are you okay now? I'm not totally back to my normal self, but I'm working towards a new goal. I want to be the best in the world. So now I'm going to do what I can as Sumire. I see. By the way, who's this? Her boyfriend. Oh, um, this is my senpai from school. We've both come here came here today for a lesson. Oh, so you're Fine. Let's have you go first, Sumire. You can start off with your combination. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am! Oh, boxer size is literally just boxing. She's 
got some amazing moves. That was so freaking fast. She's really got those aggressive moves down. She she's really just like her sister. Okay, you can take a break. We'll do more some some more later. Phew. F thank you very much. Uh, Coach Hiraguchi, thanks for all your help today. So how would I do? I tried to put some real force into a combination. You said you were going to perform a sumire this time. I didn't see that at all. All I saw there was Kasumi. Or a shadow at her, at least. <sighs> what? What? Kasumi defined her performance by her boldness, yes. But that's not something you can appro appropriate for yourself. It came from the energy within her. That's what made her Kasumi. I told you to think about who you really are. Seems you still don't understand what I meant. You need to stop hiding behind Kasumi. If you keep denying yourself like this, how can she still call you her rival? Uh, what? <laughs> huh? What's that supposed to? I never wanted to draw attention to it, but Kasumi had a very competitive streak. She hated to lose. She would always tell me. She was so jealous of her little sister and her delicate, graceful style. I can't lose to her, she said. She wanted you to see that. She... she said that? Th that's impossible. Because we could do anything, and... I... I was nothing. I said all I wanted to say, but I suggest you think a little harder about it. Okay, it's your turn now. Get ready. <sighs> Yuck. This is the first time where the obvious one is the correct one. Normally, the obvious one is wrong for some reason. You okay? <sighs> Thank you, but I'm fine. I noticed she was quite impressed with your physical abilities. Compared to you, though, it was pitiful. Me? Graceful? Now I think about it, I guess that's one thing my coach used to compliment me on. But even with that, I couldn't match Kasumi's performance at all. And now she says Kasumi saw me as a rival? I don't believe it. I, I mean, all I was doing was imitating her ever since the beginning. I was just following Kasumi. That was fine in the beginning. I loved being with Kasumi, and it was fun. But ever since I started noticing the difference in our gymnastic skills, one thing became clear. I'll always be someone less than Kasumi. I'm just worthless after all. That isn't true. Thank you very much. You're very kind, Senpai. Still, something occurred to me when Coach told me what Kasumi said. I realized, just like she wanted me to show, what she wanted to show me, what she could do, I still want you to see my own abilities. You remember? Like, when I tried to show off back at the batting cages? <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I need to chase. Maybe it's, maybe that feeling get me, help me gain some confidence. Sounds like even Kasumi liked my more subtle and delicate moves, so if I mix in, it, it, with her aggressive style. It'll be like a duet. Right. They all be able to stop my routine. If the key here is showing you what I can do, then I just need to, you to watch me again. Senpai, will you go out with me again? Of course. Thank you so much. As long as I got you behind me, Senpai, I can keep moving forward. I would have said I'd, I'd watch you forever, so I'd... Good. I guess it was a good thing I read her mind. I guess that's a deep bond of trust with Vince Sumire. All right. I'll think about what else I can do when I figure it out. I'll let you know. Oh, is it time already? Let's get going. Thank you for so much for today. See you next time. P. 
pee 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 pee. Oh, Senpai, thank you for coming with me today. Coach Hiraguchi is so strict, isn't she? She wasn't going easy on you at all. She used to make me and Kasumi work so hard. She was so hard she even made me cry a couple times. But Kasumi said she was probably tough on us because she saw our potential. Thanks to Kasumi supporting me for strength, I kept working hard. Didn't seem like you were struggling at all, though. You might just be as tough as Kasumi. Amazing. I love a good challenge. Oh, I see. So you let that struggle fuel you. Wish I could do that. I can't stop thinking about what the what was she mentioned, though. My own energy, huh? Guess I'm the only one who can find out what that means. But I'll try to. I'll try with everything I have. For now, though, I'll talk to you later. Hmm? Welcome back. Get a lot of sociable customers lately. It's tiring me out. We've got a really scary request. It says kill me. We don't do hits. I know that! Well, we can't ignore it either, can we? The guy's name is now Minamato. He lost both his parents really young, and he's had to take care of his little sister ever since. He's been working really hard at a part-time job to support them both, but... Right now he hates his sister so much that he can't take it. She's his only family, but he can't control how he feels. At some point he was so mad he shoved her, but she stumbled and... I guess she got hurt really badly. It was unfor an unfortunate accident, but he says he can't accept that. So it's a penance thing? Yeah. He wants to be stopped before he kills his family. But changing his heart is bound to help somehow, right? You need to kill off those negative feelings inside him. Kill me, huh? Talk about a morbid request. Okay, let's, let's help him before he does something even more dr drastic. Oh, my young sister, I cry for you. Alright then, well, that's going- Oh! No, I'm not doing that right now. I'm too tired for this shit. That's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Must I enjoy making it for you all? If you win Jordan and feel I deserve it, you can donate to me at buymeacoffee.com slash kingd353. Every donation is appreciated. For those of a dollar, you can get shot at the end of these videos. Donate a little bit more, you'll get access, and you can get bonuses inside my personal Discord. Ugh. Once you're there, we can chat, play video games, share memes, and have ourselves a grand old time. Sorry, I'm very tired. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all you beautiful later. Deuces, kingdom.